this is me basically hi guys so this is me um trying to explain how the inbox works right so first off um i'm going to exp explain the data types that we used um because when you understand the structure of the data types you don't understand how to um set up the dynamic data so the f um, two data types used in this case was the conversation and the messages so conversation messages and the conversation uh, look at conversation as more of the primary data type in this in this case now i'm not saying messages is less important but just look at the conversation as um see the key here now that the conversation we have um we have connected to the list of messages which is this for a particular chat now why do we need this now uh, because um there will be a lot of messages on the pl on, 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 on on the app, right? Now, if those messages are not connected to, say, a particular conversation, um, you'll end up seeing the, con the conversation of a lot of people, or messages of all conversations on the app, right? So, um, we have this. So, for example, imagine you're going to WhatsApp, right? And you're trying to c connect with, um, say, person A, and also chat with person B, right? You guys need to have different conversation rooms. So um, this helps to create this. So conversation is basically um, different rooms for users to communicate. So for every new conversation, for for every new room, it creates a new conversation. And that's why you can see here we have the list of users, user theta, list of users. So list of users can hardly ever it would never be there can never be two conversations with the same um, users. So for example, person A and person B um, can only have one conversation. They cannot have like they cannot go off to you know create another conversation it's not possible right except they, they set to delete all their list of messages now why do we have the recruitment here so we need this recruitment um to set towards the um, job details because we have this now on the job details we have the um uh, we have this because you know in this case, this this person here, James Bell, will be the person that created what the job, and then he will be the recruiter at the company. So and then when you check the job details, it's connected to. Uh, start out towards the company, All right? Uh, where do I have that saved? Aha, uh -huh, so client company details. So it's connected towards the company, and then from there we can you know have access to the company name, All right? now um so that explains conversation so down to messages we have um three different fields under the message section first of all we have the message content right which is where when you type in hi a text is created so that's basically the message content how are you that's the message content you understand so this is message content this is message content this is message content that's why we have a text here now message conversion connected back to the um conversion um, conversation rather so um, this message is connected towards a certain conversation which is this conversation in this case right and then um, when the receiver has seen the message it's a yes or no by default when a new message is created the user has not seen the message except he is on is actively on the chat at that moment so if for example a, a new user sends a message here um, the count of this increases to 11 because this particular user has not seen um, this list of messages so the moment he clicks here for example and it shows the list of messages then he has seen the messages and then this count reduces back to zero now um, moving on so I have this created um, in a, I have the conversation created in a reusable element um, to help save time because um, so that we don't have to you know create the same thing both on the talent side on the client side so i'm using basically the same exact element we're just changing a thing on the client side and on the talent side right now um so basically like i said i remember i'm saying uh, look at the conversation as the as the big guy here or maybe as it's slightly more important right because type of content here is conversation and this is what covers this entire group right um so you can see type of content conversation right now because uh, if you look at it messages are connected to the conversation really pretty much anything that needs to happen in the inbox is connected to what's the conversation now um 
on this left side, when I say search for conversations, it's searching for conversations that contain what the current user. That's how you set up the dynamic data for this. Conversations that contain the current user. So for example, when you open up WhatsApp, WhatsApp contains the ch all chats that act, that contain, you know, that have um, you as maybe an, uh, as one of the users there. Right, it's impossible for you to be on the WhatsApp chat where you're not where you are not chatting or where you're not um, part of the group. Right, it's it's almost impossible. You know, what I mean is it's literally impossible. Like it's really not possible. So uh, when it's searching for conversation, it's searching for conversations that contain the current user. You understand, right? So that's what happens. Now, when that when say this conversation is clicked, what happens? This sends information into this into this group. So this conversation is broken into two um, groups. We have here, we have here the sorry. Okay, so we have the conversation. I have the group list conversation. So let me make it right. Let me put the repeating group here so you can easily identify. So this contains. So this right is for the repeating group, right? And this left is for what contains the. Um, list of conversations right message all right so when this side on the on the left side of the repeating group is clicked it sends data into the right side it sends it into the right side now what does it send it sends this particular conversation and makes it the, the default conversation going on in this entire inbox so it's something of this nature. Let me go to the workflows and show you how I set it up. So now you can see I said display data in the right. Uh, I think it's easier if I do it here. So. Mm, all right. So this is it. So when our cell in the repeating group is clicked, um, the workflow is to display that current sales conversation into um, into the right into the right um, into that right group. Now when I say right group, I literally mean right hand side. So this is the right hand side, right? Now in this right, it has data source conversation, right? This is a data source conversation. So it displays it on the right. Right now, like I said, there was something I mentioned earlier that you know when the user selects or clicks here, it loads up all the email, all the messages for the user in here. Right, it loads it up in here. Now, if the messages that were previously unseen, yeah, let's say you had about ten unseen messages, when it, lo it loads up here, the miss the list the, the number immediately changes to zero, which means um, the user has now seen those messages. This is the workflow that takes care of it. So when it's, it's here, here, make make change to list of messages and change it from um, no to yes. So it's basically saying now the receiver has seen those messages. Do you understand? So that's how that, that's what happens. And then the um, we're making changes to a list of list data type here. You get a uh, data field rather. So in, in most cases, you know, we we'll usually make change to a thing. In this case, we're making change to a list of things. Do you understand? Now, um, so step three is scroll to entry or repeating group. Now, scroll to, um, what we're basically telling you is to scroll to the last message. For example, when you open up your WhatsApp and you say click on the conversation between you and person A, right, it's, it, it starts, it, it's basically positions itself at the most recent message. It does not um, start from the top. This is why we have this, this walkthrough here. Scroll to the, um, scroll to the last item. Of that current sales conversation that's what happens here i hope that makes sense now the next thing is um when the user types in a message in here when the user types in the message in here and he clicks send what happens the first thing is that like, first of the, the message is created that's that, that's like the first thing message created so this is the workflow for that okay here so yeah like i said the message is created the message contents first is taken care of and then that message is connected back to um a conversation Getting back to a conversation. In this case, we already have the dynamic data set up. Like I said, it's one of the reasons why you have to see conversation as the big guy here because uh, most things, or um, literally everything, is connected to conversation. So you can see that the um, 
type of consent that is repeating group is conversation and data source is the parents group conversation meaning the chain has gone on you get that kind of thing yeah so and then when you click consent you can easily connect it to the parents group conversation um step two now is adding the messages to let me go back to the data type so you can understand yeah So first of all, explain message, right? You created the message content and then message conversation and then connected the message to the converse to a conversation. Now you can see here we see receiver sin. Receiver sin by default is no. That's why we didn't have to set it up as no right there. You understand? And then it automatically marks it to yes when the user clicks that current cell or is using the messages of that current cell. Oh, okay. Now um and then once that is done, we reset re re relevant inputs. Now, why do we reset relevant inputs? If we don't reset relevant inputs, it means the typed in content remains there. Like it remains typed out. Right? So we need to reset it. Now I was explaining this to um why we are why we are adding um this message to the message data in conversation. So if you remember, I showed you something. In the conversation, we have a particular data field that was connected back to the list of um list of that, that contains a list of messages. So this is what we are adding here. So we're adding every new message is added to this conversation. Every new message is added to this conversation. So it's easy to track messages for a particular conversation. I hope that makes sense. Um, what else? And then once that is done, it also scrolls to the last item. You understand? So you're typing a new message, it's a new entry, right? So instead of it staying static, it types it in, it automatically scrolls down to the last item without you even noticing it. So all of this is very seamless. And then it makes changes to the list of messages and says, oh, okay, I can see you've, you've seen those messages. So for any activity that goes on while you're on that current cell conversation, it marks any message um, received as seen on your end as the current user because you're currently active um, on that screen. And um, that's pretty much, or that's, just, that's, I try to make it as simple as possible. So I hope um, you guys understand how to set up the inbox now.